Hey, Mala folks. Happy New Year. We made it. 2020's over. Maybe next year more people will be able to play face-to-face -face Malifo. I've been very lucky because my quarantine pod includes my son, who is my Malifo partner. So, Matt, I love you, but I'm ready to play someone else. At any rate, this week, we're playing Explorers vs. Ten Thunders, Cornelius Bass vs. Jake the Snake. Our deployment is Wedge, Symbols of Authority is the strategy, and our scheme pool includes Vendetta, Assassinate, Claim Jump, Spread Them Out, and Research Mission. I'm coming at it with Jacob Lynch, The Hungering Darkness, Two Beckoners, An Illuminated, One Depleted, Mr. Tannen, his buddy Mr. Graves, and finally Kitty Dumont. I don't have a real Kitty Dumont model. I do have one on the way though. Thanks, Robert. Uh, and now I have seven soul stones left over. Matt has chosen Cornelius Bass, Bernadette, a Rough Rider proxying, three Frontiersmen, who we shall refer to as the Mohawk guy, the Lady Frontiersmen, and the Old Men. Two Ostringers, one of which is the OG Metal Malifaux First Edition Ostringer, and the other one we'll call the Kid. He has two upgrades. Bass has the Hidden Agenda upgrade, and the Rough Rider has the Flush with Cash upgrade. And they have ten Soul Stones left over. We flip for Attacker. Seven to two Bass, so he divides up his forces. And then we place our symbols for symbols of authority. The defender places their symbol first, and Jake goes for three symbols on one side of the wedge rather than just sort of distributing two on each side of the chevron to see if he can force his opponent to that side of the table. Deployment. The Rough Rider deploys one inch forward for his frontier ability home on the range. The Lady Frontier Lady. The OG Ostringer. And the Mohawk Frontiersman. Then Jacob Lynch deploys the beckoner with the cane the beckoner with the ponytail mr graves mr tannen the illuminated kitty dumont the depleted hungering darkness and jacob himself then matt does the second half of his crew deploys the kid and the kid gets to go one inch forward deploys the old man frontiersman one inch forward cornelius gets a bump one inch forward and bernadette gets one inch forward Jacob gets to give brilliance to two enemies, so he gives a brilliance token to the Rough Rider and to Cornelius. We pick our schemes, so spoiler alert if you don't want to know the schemes, look away. What do you call a blind dinosaur? Do you think he saw us? I like that because it sounds like people I grew up with in Massachusetts. Do you think he saw us? Turn one. At the start of turn one, the Beckoners each get to hand out one Brilliance token, so each Ostringer, OG, and the Kid both get a Brilliance token. Initiative flip turn one, six to five, Jacob. The Beckoner with the cane rigs the deck one, draw the top card of your deck, and then put a card from your hand on top of your deck. One AP move. Second AP focus. Old Man Frontier uses his bonus action to follow my path. Moves the Kid two inches. One AP move unimpeded. Second AP, focus. Kitty Dumont gets to rig the deck two cards. And then one AP, move. Any model that she moves through while she is moving incorporeally has to take a movement 13 duel, and if they fail, they get a brilliance token. That's called brilliance saturation. She moves through Jake, who can never gain brilliance, and the illuminated, who gains one brilliance after choosing to fail the movement duel. Second AP, reaching tendrils, targeting hungering darkness. Target number 12, she succeeds with the On Your Heels trigger with her mask. She gets to move Hungering Darkness six inches and then place in base to base with him. That is a nice way to move stuff forward. Next up is Bernadette. One AP move. Second AP focus. The Depleted. One AP move. Second AP focus. The Rough Rider. Bonus action. Ride with me to the Lady Frontiersman. Goes off no problem. So he gets to move forward and take the Lady Frontiersman with him. 1 AP, Repeater Rifle Shot versus Mr. Graves. That rifle's got a built-in plus flip. 11 to 14, miss. The Rider cheats to a 16 with a crit. Graves cheats to a 17, miss. Second AP, another Repeater Rifle at Graves. Red Joker! 19 to 18 hit, negative 1 flip with a crit. Moderate, 3 plus 1 because of the crit. 4 damage to Mr. Graves, nice shot. 
Mr. Graves rigs the deck too. One AP move. The second AP move. The Lady Frontiersman Lady. One AP move. Second AP shoot Graves with her revolver. 15 to 15 hit. Negative 2 flip. Weak. 2 with the severe injury trigger, so Graves takes 2 damage and is injured 1. Bonus action, kick up dust. No problem, she makes a tornado. Mr. Tannen rigs the deck too. 1 AP move. 2nd AP move. The Kid Allstringer. 1 AP move. 2nd AP shooting his revolver at Graves. 12 to 16 miss, cheats in a 17 for a negative one flip, moderate three damage, Graves is at hard to kill, ow! Then bonus action, Raptor Strike versus Graves, 14 to 18 miss, but that's the kid for you. Hungering Darkness, 1 AP move, second OP, Obey Mr. Graves, target number 14, cheats in a 13 to succeed, Graves charges the Lady Frontiersman off the Obey. 17 to 15 hit, negative one flip, and Black Joker. Ooh, Graves, I don't see good things happen to you this game. The OG Ostringer, 1 AP focus. Bonus action, focused Raptor Strike to offset the friendly fire on Graves. 9 to 13 miss, cheats to a 15 hit, straight flip, moderate, straight flip because of focus, dead Mr. Graves. Ugh. Lady Frontiersman takes a point from Black Blood, but Graves is down. Man, he goes down so quick for me. He just, he always squishes out every time I take him. Second AP, move. The Illuminated rigs the deck one card. One AP, move. Second AP, he casts a Scintillating Cloud, a Shockwave attack. He needs a six to pass, flips a six. That's a Willpower 13 duel or take two damage and brilliance to the kid who fails and to Lady Frontier's Lady who passes. Mr. Mohawk uses 1 AP to move. Bonus action. Follow my path, Bernadette. Come on, y'all. Second AP, move. The Ponytail Beckoner rigs the deck one. 1 AP, move. Second AP, focus. Cornelius Bass throws a pass token. Jake the Snake uses 1 AP to move. Second AP, move. Third AP, shoots the Lady Frontiersman Lady. He uses a Soul Stone to negate the negative flip from her concealment. 10 to 16 miss. Jake cheats to an 18 with a negative one flip, plus two brilliance from his trigger, does two damage and two brilliance to the Lady Frontier's Lady. And then bonus action, this round's on me. Needs a four and passes, targeting the Lady Frontiersman. She needs to do a target number 14 willpower duel or gain brilliance. Fails, she gains another brilliance token. She is brilliant. Cornelius Bass, one AP move. Second AP move. Third AP move scoots into weathertop and out of sight so that is the end of turn one we have moved into position and i have lost mr graves yowie start of turn two initiative three to three reflip nine to four bass the rough rider one ap move second ap shoots his repeating rifle at jake negative one flip from don't bite the hand plus one flip from the rifle itself makes it even but the concealment brings it back down to a negative one flip 9 to 9, Jake cheats to a 10, miss. Bonus action, ride with me to the kid. Fails with a 2, cheats in a 7 with the field kit trigger to heal the kid. One wound. Mr. Tannen rigs the deck one card. 1 AP, move. Bonus action, boring conversation. He passes, and now until the end of the turn, anybody within 6 must take a willpower 10 duel to do anything but walk around him. Second AP, Despicable Promises, Willpower Duel against the Lady Frontiersman. 13 to 7, Tannen cheats in Crows for Drain Magic Trigger. She gains Distracted, 1 Brilliance, and Drain Magic. And once per turn, a target that gains Brilliance moves 2 inches or takes 1 damage, so he moves the Lady Frontiersman. Lady Frontiersman takes 1 AP move. Second AP, drop a Scheme Marker. Bonus action, Kick Up Dust, Tornado. The Beckoner with the cane rigs the deck one. She uses her focus to lure the Lady Frontiersman. 18 to 10, and she moves an extra inch for every brilliance she had on her, so she lures uh, her movement plus an extra four inches. Yee. And then bonus action, a pleasant distraction. She can discard brilliance tokens from enemies within six inches to stop, stop them from dropping scheme markers. Second AP, move. The Kid, one AP focus. I don't know why the kid has an old man voice, but he does. 
Bonus action. Takes a focused raptor strike on Lynch. Use that focus to offset and bite the hand. 11 to 11. Lynch cheats to 18. Kid cheats to 19 with a crit. Straight flip. Moderate. Three damage goes to four because of crit. Jacob uses a soul stone to prevent two. Takes two. Second AP. Move. Hungering Darkness uses one AP to try to obey the Rough Rider. The Rough Rider uses his Flush with Cash upgrade to give Hungry a Soul Stone to make the attack fail. So I get a free Soul Stone, but the attack just does not happen. Second AP, try to obey the OG Stringer. Target number 14 needs an 8. Oh, flips a 3. Fail. That OG Stringer uses one AP to move. Second AP, drop a scheme. Bonus action, Raptor Strike versus the Depleted. Red Joker. 20 to 8, plus 1 flip. Goes to straight because of hard to wound. But he gets the onslaught trigger. Severe, 4 damage with the onslaught. The depleted uses a focus. 10 to 11 miss. Cheats to a 16, negative 2 flip. Flips an ace, so the OG Ostringer gets a brilliance token. Whenever Matt flips an ace, he gets a brilliance token. Flips another ace, gets another brilliant token, ends up doing weak damage. The depleted dies. Boom! Explodes in a two-inch radius, but there are no victims. Kitty Dumont rigs the deck one. One AP, reaching tendrils on the OG Ostringer. Target number 12 flips to an 18 with the On Your Heels trigger versus a 13. She moves him 6 inches and then moves within base to base to make a nice sandwich with the Ostringer. Second AP, Unassuming Demeanor on the Ostringer. 16 to 8 hit, straight flip, 3 damage. That's, that's a pretty assuming demeanor in my opinion. Mohawk Frontiersman uses bonus action to cast Follow My Path with Bernadette. Scoots her up, follows her up. 1 AP, Move. Second AP, drop a scheme marker. I wonder what he's doing. The Illuminated rigs the deck one. One AP, move. Second AP, charge the OG Ostringer. 19 to 7 hit. Plus flip for damage. Red Joker! OG Ostringer pitches his bird upgrade, so he takes no damage, but he is now birdless. Bernadette, one AP, move. Second AP, move. Jake the Snake rigs the deck, uses 1 AP, succumb to darkness on the Lady Frontiersman. It's a willpower duel. 19 to 16 hit, she takes damage equal to the amount of brilliance token she has, which kills her outright. And then he gets to summon a honeypot minion with a cost equal to or lesser than the amount of brilliance tokens she had. So up comes a new depleted. I don't think I've ever summoned anything with Jake before. That was pretty cool. Second AP, move. Third AP, move. Old man frontiersman uses his bonus action to follow my path, Cornelius. Come on this way. One AP, move. Second AP, move. The beckoner with the ponytail rigs the deck one. One AP, move. Second AP, lure Mr. Tannen. She passes. Tannen chooses to fail. She gets to move him his move. And then bonus action sets up a pleasant distraction. Mr. Bass. One AP, move. Second AP, shoot at Jake. Uses a soul stone to offset the bite the hand feature. But the cover does give Jake plus one defense and a negative flip to the damage. 9 to 17, miss. Bass cheats in an 18, so a negative two flip. Weak. Three blast. Ugh. Soul stone prevent one, so Jake takes two. Tannen takes two from the blast. Third AP, caught in quicksand versus Jake. Uses a soul stone to offset the bite the hand. 16 to 10, hit. Negative one flip because of cover. Sandworm trigger does a moderate three blast. Uh, Lynch is using a soul stone to prevent ten black joker. So Jake ends up taking three. Tannen takes another two, and it blows up destructible terrain. So those crates go away. Ooh, damn sandworms! You hate them, right? Me too. The newly summoned depleted goes one AP move. Second AP focus. At the end of turn two, Cornelius reveals two schemes assassinate and spread them out they got jake to half and i got three tokens spread out Ooh, okay he's two to zero at the end of turn two this is gonna be tough start of turn three jake soul stones for cards initiative three to eight bass is winning jake cheats to a 10 bass gets a pass token jake rigs the deck one ap move bonus action this round's on me needs a four to pass Gets it. Enemies within six inches have to take a willpower 14 duel or gain brilliance. 
The rider fails, gains a brilliance. OG Ostranger fails, gains a brilliance. Bass passes, and then Tannen gets to heal one damage from the inner glow trigger. That was a ram. Second AP move. Third AP move. Mohawk Frontiersman, one AP scheme marker. Bonus action, follow my path, Bernadette. Come on, y'all. Second AP, move. Kitty Dumont rigs the deck. Uses her bonus action, drawn to brilliance. Discards a brilliance to get out of engagement with the Ostranger. One AP, move. Illuminated gains brilliance from being moved through. Second AP, reaching tendrils on bass. Target number 12, she gets to a 15. Bass cheats to an 18. Kitty cheats to an 18, but no on your heels trigger. Wah, wah. Pushes Bash six Bash. Pushes Bass six inches straight away. Get him out of there. Old man frontiersman. One AP move. Second AP scheme. Bonus action. Kick up dust. The illuminated rigs the deck. One AP. Attack the OG Ostringer. 13 to 10 hit. Negative flip, but I have the flay trigger, so I can cheat it regardless. Weak, two damage. Second AP focus, and then reveals the scheme Vendetta on the Ostranger. The Rough Rider, 1 AP move. Bonus action, ride with me with the kid. Fails, cheats in an 8. Second AP shoots at Jake. Negative 1 flip, plus 1 for the rifle to a straight flip, 14 to 17. Miss, cheats to a 17. Negative 2 flip, weak 2 damage. Jake uses a soul stone to prevent 2 damage. Hungering Darkness uses 1 AP to obey the Rough Rider. That's a willpower duel. Cheats to 15 versus 6 and moves the Rider. Second AP, attack the Rider. 19 to 12 hit, straight flip. Cheats to severe. 6 damage plus 1 for crit. Oh, dead Rider. Hungry just sucked him right in. Bernadette uses 1 AP to move. Second AP to move straight over to that symbol of authority. The Beckoner with the cane rigs the deck. 1 AP focus. Second AP, move through the woods. The Kid, 1 AP, focus. Bonus action, focused raptor strike on Jake. That focus offsets the bite the hand thing. 9 to 13, miss. Cheats in the... Joker! 20 to 13 with the onslaught trigger. Plus flip because of the focus. Weak! And flipped an ace so he gets a brilliant. But cheats to moderate, 3. Jake's soulstone prevents... Three! Oh yeah! Here comes the onslaught attack, flips another ace, gets another brilliance. Six to seventeen, miss. Second AP, pass. You know what? I've had enough. Tannen rigs the deck. One AP move. Second AP, despicable promises versus the Lady Frontiers Lady. Fifteen to sixteen, miss. Bonus action, boring conversation, pass. The OG Ostringer. 1 AP to disengage, trying to get the hell out of there. 10 to 12, doesn't do it, but cheats to a 15. He escapes. Second AP, focus. And this guy has no bird. He has no more bonus attack. The ponytail wearing Beckoner rigs the deck. 1 AP, move. Second AP, lure the OG Ostringer. 13 to 8, moves him right into the tree. Bass. 1 AP, move. Second AP, move, making sure he's outside 6 inches of tannin. Third AP, scheme. The Depleted, 1 AP, focus. Second AP, pass, just sit there. At the end of the turn, nobody got any strategy points. Jake gets one point for that Vendetta of the Illuminated versus the OG Ostringer. The score is 2 to 1, Bass. Here comes turn 4. We both stone for card draw. Anish, 12 to 8, Jacob. Bass cheats to a 13, plus 1 for Bass token, so 14 to 12. Bass, 1 AP, move. Second AP, shoot Jake. Soul Stone to offset, bite the hand. 8 to 8 hit. Jake cheats to a 15. Bass cheats to a 16 and has to pitch a card because now he's near Tannin. With the injured trigger, negative 1 flip, weak, 3 blast. Soul Stone prevent, 2. Jake takes 1. The Beckoner takes 2 from the blast and Jake is injured 1. Third AP, shoots Jake again. Uses a Soul Stone to offset, bite the hand. 18 to 14 because he's injured. Negative one flip. Weak. Three and a blast. Jake's soul stone prevents one. Takes two. Oh, Jake has one wound left. Two more wounds to the beckoner. 
bonus action kicks up dust flips an ace gets a bonus or gets a brilliance token but doesn't get a tornado hungering darkness uses one ap to charge bass 17 to 15 hit negative one flip weak two plus one for the crit trigger second ap attack again Red Joker. 16 to 20 miss Bonus action, consume brilliance. Bass has to take a target number 14 willpower duel or gain slow. Bass passes. Hungry sucks up a brilliance token off, token off him and heals one. The Kid, 1 AP, focus. Bonus action, focused raptor strike on Jake the Snake. 18 to 5 hit. Jake cheats to a 16, so it's a negative one flip. Weak with a crit trigger. Two damage, soulstone prevent. Oh, Black Joker. Jake is down. He had a couple of good soul stone prevents, but couldn't pull off that last one. Kitty rigs the deck. 1 AP reaching tendrils at the kid. Choose a soul stone to bypass the concealment. Target number 12 cheats in the... Red Joker! 20 to 8. Ostringer fails, so she pushes him and gets the on your heels trigger. Second AP disengages the Ostringer. She didn't want to be next to him at all. 15 to 13, she disengages. Upon watching the tape, I'll maybe figure out why I did that. The OG Ostringer, 1 AP move. Second AP, drop a scheme marker. The Illuminated rigs the deck. 1 AP, shoot a scintillating cloud right next to that Ostringer. Willpower 13 duel, Ostringer hits a 15. Second AP, same shockwave attack. At the Ostringer, Ostringer gets an 8, cheats to a 15. He's okay. Old man frontiersman. 1 AP move. Second AP scheme. Mr. Tannen rigs the deck. 1 AP, charge bass. Why not? 18 to 12 hit, straight flip, moderate, 3 damage. Soulstone prevent 1. Second AP, attack pass again. Why not? 14 to 14 hit, negative 2 flip, weak, 2 damage. Soulstone prevent 1. Bonus action, boring conversation. That was pretty darn good, Tannen. Mohawk Frontiersman. 1 AP move. Second AP scheme. Ponytail Beckoner rigs the deck. 1 AP move. Second AP charge bass. 18 to 11 hip. Straight flip. Moderate. 2 damage. The weaklings are beating up on bass. Bernadette interacts with a strat marker. First one of the game. Second AP move. The Beckoner with the cane rigs the deck. 1 AP move. Second AP charge the old frontiersman. 12 to 11 hit. Frontiersman cheats to a 16. The depleted, 1 AP focus. Second AP pass, he's just sitting there guarding those strat markers. At the end of turn four, Jake reveals assassinate. Got bass below half. Bass gets one point for a strat. Uh, we were pretty sure bass was going to win, uh, and these were the couple of models that would determine it. Bass soul stones for cards. Initiative, 11 to 7 Jake. Bass cheats to a 12. Jake cheats in the... Red Joker! Kitty Dumont rigs the deck. 1 AP interact. 2nd AP focus. The OG Ostringer. 1 AP move. 2nd AP move. The Illuminated. 1 AP move. 2nd AP scintillating cloud. Drops a shock wave. Target number 13. Willpower. Oh, the Ostringer cheats to pass. And at this point, if I can't kill off the Ostringer for Vendetta, I can't get that last scheme point. But... Let's let ourselves tell you what happened. Hey, Internet. We're calling the game beginning of turn five. The OG Ostringer just escaped getting killed by the only model that could have killed it, the Illuminated. If I can't kill him, I can't score Vendetta. I scored one point here. I might score one for Assassinate. Matt is going to score one for Spread Them Out because he has a million scheme markers. And he's going to score one for Assassinate because Jake got killed. So numerically, I can't get past him. That's a game on turn five. So another game ended at turn four. Uh, I wasn't going to pick up any more strat markers, and I was not going to kill Bass. And he got full points for his schemes. He was about to pick up all those tokens for spread them out. Good game. Jake the Snake still has a lot of things to remember. There's so many auras and six-inch bubbles and giving brilliance and flipping aces. There are a lot of moving parts in that crew. But I think I'm beginning to get an idea of how to use it. Bass is pretty straightforward, but slippery as hell. Uh, and Bass is just tough. Those shockwaves are just brutal, man. You can't stay grouped together anywhere near him. 
But anyway, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please catch all our little mistakes and let us know in the comments. And I mean it, have a have a happy new year. This year has just been a great big wax tadpole, and I'm sick of it. So I'll see you in 21, guys. Peace.